Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Ford vehicle. It could be any Ford vehicle. If you need to test the radiator fan, if you want to see if the radiator fan control module is working and you have all the speeds working correctly because your, your fan, if you have a Ford uh, which is newer than year 2011 guys, you have multiple speeds up to 10 speeds. You can test each one of those and make sure the fan is working because let's say your car is overheating, the fan turns on, but if it works only at 20% duty cycle, that means it will not have enough airflow to cool it. So make sure to send you then we'll explain how to do that easily without even getting your hands dirty. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep Keep making these absolutely free videos for you and if you need to buy any parts tools and you want to save quite a bit of money check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from this specifically it's a Ford C Max we'll be demonstrating on but doesn't matter what it is guys okay it could be okay it could be any vehicle guys practically so when we open here we are going to remove okay the intake holes all that will be here so we can demonstrate this is the radiator fan on the fan right here this is the control module this is the brains practically guys that's what makes the fan go at different speeds because the engine computer will send the signal and that fan control module will activate the fan and it will let it work at certain rpms practically certain uh, duty cycles so you need to find for your Ford vehicle you need to find where the OBD port is located maybe under a cover or under the dash this is the two that we'll be using I will put the link in the description of the video below exactly which one it is because uh, this is super powerful it's very cheap you can read the leads codes and see live data for every computer system in your Ford and some Fords have up to 50 guys you can do programming actuation tests practically the over level equipment right here in your pocket guys for <laughs> for a price that can pay itself off in less than one time years practically it's so cheap for what it can do we're going to go ahead turn the ignition switch on perfect here guys check it out we need to go to all systems diagnostics here it will go to VIN decoding it will connect it will read the VIN number it will tell us exactly which vehicle we have specifically so in our case it should read 2013 Ford C-Max check it out okay it's loading perfect now we just need to wait for everything to complete at that point guys okay it says set ignition switch to on it is on we confirm now it's going to still work on that so we're almost almost there check it out perfect we go to system selection here we're going to select PCM okay which stands for powertrain control module watch how many computers you have those are all computers I'm telling you guys those new vehicles they have quite a bit of electronics but having a device like that gives you advantage because you can do almost anything so now here we're going to go to actuation test under actuation test okay we have different functions and we need to find the one for the radiator fan so we're almost almost there 77 percent should be any minute now perfect here we go to fan speed desired percentage okay now uh, i'll be able to increase the speed by 10 percent with every click of the pause button so our fan has seven or eight speeds i believe on these specific cars most of them will be about that so now the fan is not on check it out i'll click now to go to the next uh, step which will be 18 percent duty cycle listen now the fan turns on we're gonna put the paper here see if it can push it you can see how it pushes it out of the way 28 percent next step listen we we'll go to 38 48 58 68 78 88 
This is the last step, 88%. Check out, it's enormous amount. Okay, and I stop it. Now, you can go to uh, data stream, you can see add data stream as well, and you can compare if it's cooling the radiator and all that stuff. So, uh, you can check the coolant temperature sensor relative to the radiator fan. Uh, really cool features, guys. So, that's how we do it, super easy. Hopefully, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching, see you next time.